Let's talk all about escalation clauses, when and how you can use them to win multiple offer deals, but also how you can defend against them as well. Escalations tend to work like this. With your agent and an attorney, you draft a clause saying, here's my starting bid, let's say 100,000. I'm willing to pay you that, but I will pay two grand over any other offer you get, your escalation amount, up to a max of X, let's say 150, that's my cap, okay? So bid, escalation, cap. Now there will also usually be language saying, if you do get other offers, you need to prove that you did and show them to me, okay? Some kind of language is there. This is the fatal flaw with the escalation clause. I see a lot of buyers who have a little bit too much of a false sense of confidence about using this tool, but if I'm your listing agent, for example, we get an escalation, what I could do is say, hey, thanks so much for telling us what you're really willing to pay for the house, even though that's not what you offered. How about I send you a counter offer for your cap and I'm gonna cross out that whole thing about us showing you any details because you can pound sand, okay? See how quickly we just got ourselves right back in the same old situation of what is this person really willing to pay? It's not that difficult to defend against these. So my advice to buyers out there is that these are great tools in the toolbox, but just remember clean offers usually win. You should always really focus on what am I truly willing and comfortable to pay for the home? We always wanna get a better deal, but usually the winner is the one who gets the house. For more real estate tips, hit the follow button.